So this is the Newmark DJ to go to touch and it's a great, great backup solution to throw in your backpack. It's about $90 and you can take it with you wherever you go and use it to DJ with Serato. So say you're doing a wedding or something like that and your controller dies or your mixer dies and the party stops, you can pull this thing out of your backpack, um, connect it to Serato Lite or Serato DJ Pro, uh, connect a, let's see, what we got? We got a headphone out and a uh, eighth inch out on this side. Um, and so you can connect it to your sound system that way and you can finish out the night because it is a capable controller even though it's you know small in size. One of the things it doesn't have though is a EQ. So we've got you know the levels and the Q level but we have no EQ. Well I'm going to show you how you can add an EQ to this so to speak uh, and a little bit of a trade-off but if it's truly an emergency and this needs to be truly in emergency mode and you have to DJ say two hours of a wedding with this thing uh, I think the trade-off uh, that I'm going to show you is worth it. So really what we're going to do is we're going to MIDI map this and uh, we're going to have to rely on sync. I know I don't really like it either, but the reason why we're going to have to rely on sync is that we're going to MIDI map each of these pitch faders to a combo filter in Serato DJ Pro. And that'll essentially be a EQ that you can use while you're, while you're DJing. So this will only work in Serato DJ Pro. So Serato DJ Lite, the free version, that does not support MIDI mapping. So, you know, if you're in an emergency situation, you have Wi-Fi, you probably can. If you don't have your um, an individual subscription for Serato DJ Pro. So if you have like a controller that unlocks Serato DJ Pro or a mixer that unlocks Serato DJ Pro, that doesn't mean you can use whatever device with Serato DJ Pro and it'll work you have to have that independent subscription. I think it's like $10 a month. So if you really want to be safe, just uh, you know pay for that. Or if you want to you know live on the edge, you can try to like subscribe to it <laughs> during your event or wedding when things fall apart and you're trying to get this thing to work. But whatever the case, whatever you want to do, that's up to you. I just want to let you know that you have to have that Serato DJ Pro um, license for the software, for this mini mapping to work for this guy. So here we go. Um, so we're going to go over to Serato. And if you don't know about MIDI mapping, it's pretty straightforward. So you just go to settings and then you're going to go to the MIDI tab. And then see we've got the DJ to go to touch up here. We're going to make sure that this box is selected. Allow Ser Serato hardware remapping. So make sure that's selected. Okay. And we're going to get out of the settings. And then we are going to... Um, find the effects. So I'm going to open up the effects tab. And so we're going to pick combo filter over here and we're going to pick combo filter over here in effects bank too. When we, after we remap, we're going to have to leave this effect on all the time. So let's start the remapping process. Let's go up to the left, click the MIDI. And then how this works is you, you click the control you want to MIDI map and then you move the control that you want to take that effect. So we're gonna do this uh, effects knob here. We're gonna click, and now it's gonna arm it for the mini mapping. So I'm just gonna move this left slider. Okay, that's set that one. Now let's set the right one to the knob. I'm gonna click, and I'm gonna move this one. So you should just have to move it just a little bit. Uh, and then that's it, let's exit the mini mapping. And I'm gonna keep these on. So, Let's play a track here. It's in the center click, so there's a click in the middle. So when it's in that center click, there's no combo filter applied. But as I move it, it'll apply the combo filter, which will do a high pass filter and a low pass filter all in one. And it goes down to a full kill. And so then I think you can see where this is going. Now you can officially EQ with your EQ with your pitch faders. So what that means though, if um, your tracks aren't aligned already, you're gonna have to push that sync button. I don't like it either, but this is an emergency we're talking about. So hit that sync button, sync them up.
And then you just save the day, you save the wedding because you had a uh, DJ to go to touch. And your mixes sound good because you mapped the pitch sliders to your combo filter.